Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This will be an 8 part complete project tutorial series showing you how to create KK House. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So click on new, click the drop down and click architecture template and then press OK. Now under architecture, we're going to add in grid line. So the icon will be right here on the right side, but you can type in GR for short and then click below and then above like so. After that, it will create a vertical grid line, which is number one. And then you could click this and then click copy or CO. And then here we're going to add in a copy. But before that, make sure to click multiple so that we could do this multiple times. So first will be 3500 and then the second is 6500 press escape and then escape again so next we're gonna add in our horizontal grid line so type in gr again and then after that, click on the right side of here and click on the left side. So we created number four, but we need to press escape and then escape again and zoom in and click on this. And let's change this to A and then enter. After that, it created a grid line. And then here, it's still selected. So we could just click copy or CO, keyboard shortcut. And then here, we could click the grid line again and pull it down. And then here, we're going to type in 6500. And then another one will be 5,500. Press escape and then escape again. After this, let's clean up a little bit. So if you click the grid line or any of the grid line right here, you can see that there will be a dash. And what that means is once you pull this up, it will follow all of them. So here, we're going to pull this on the left side. And then here, we could actually move this all so that everything will be centered on the elevation arrows. Once that's done, zoom in a little bit and then let's pull this up. We're going to add in our dimension. So I'm going to click dimension, but before that, let's click edit type. And then here, we're going to add an alternative. So here, click alternative units below, and then alternative units format. And then I want this to be feet and fractional inches. And then rounding off to half an inch will be good enough. So press OK and then OK. So now once we add dimensions, so I'm going to add dimensions now. As you can see, we will have our metric and imperial. So everybody will be happy. So I'm going to click on the dimension and then the overall afterwards. So here, from the grid line to the grid line, and then another one for overall. 
So now everything is added with dimension. We can now press escape and then earth escape again to finish the command. So before we add our walls, we will need to go and add our levels. So go to elevation. Most of the time I use south elevation. And then here, this will be a two story house. So I'm just going to click on this and change this to 3200. And then I could click this again, or this is already selected. And then I'm going to create a copy. So CO. And then we're going to pull this up. And then we could actually just type it 3200 again. And it created level 3. Press escape and then escape. We can now pull this up. So click on the bubble. And then now we could pull this all together like so. As you notice, I'm going to press escape. As you notice, we have our level 3, but it's not appearing here. So it's simply just go to view and then plan view, floor plan. And then here, this is already highlighted. You just need to press OK and it will appear right here. So our level 3 will be our roof. So now go back to level 1. We're going to start by adding uh, walls. So go back to architecture right here on the upper left. And then click wall. We have our basic wall right here, which is the default. We will need to press edit type and then duplicate. This will be our exterior wall number one. Press OK, edit type. I'm going to maintain the thickness to 200 and I'm just going to change this material to white. So I'm typing in white and then I'm going to choose clad white or gypsum wall for it. So I'm going to choose this and then press OK and then OK and last OK. Now we could start adding our wall. So we're going to start by going to C1. But before that, press escape again. We forgot to do is... We forgot to set this to up to level 2. So now our base will be level 1 and going top to level 2. So once you do that, it will be exactly 3200 for the height of the wall, not 8000, which is the default. And then the location, like I like it to be wall centered so that when I create this, it's it's uh, between um, uh, the 200 thickness of the wall. So whatever I set the thickness will be in the middle of this. So I'm going to click C1 and then all the way to A1. From A1, this will be continuous So because the, the chain is checked. So this will be a continuous um, command. So now go to A3 and then all the way to C3. Press escape. Next, click on B1 up to B2. Going down here. So around 3,500 from B2, click it again, and then just 1,500 from that location, click it again, and then click it all the way to C grid, and then close it off up to C3. 
so we have this now I'm gonna press escape and then escape again so now this will be our car port this will be our entrance so we're, I'm gonna place a door here for our entrance door um, I'm planning to add the stairs here and then the kitchen right here with dining and then the living room or family room and we will have a living room also right here and below the stairs we could add in like a powder room so let's add in some doors so I'm gonna add the door right here for the main entrance so just press spacebar to change the orientation and then press escape and then after that let's insert some furniture so I'm gonna click insert load family and then go to furniture and then here we're gonna pick seating and let's add in the corbo chair and sofa so just hold on control and then click and then press open and then once you do go back to architecture and click component and you'll be able to add those so I'm gonna add it right here and then we will have our family room right here and then don't forget about the chair and then lastly right here as well I'm gonna click wall again and I'm just gonna use the exterior wall as well even though this is interior and what I'm gonna do is around 1500 and then here what I'm gonna do is press escape and type in TR trim and extend that is under modify and this icon so here maybe we could give it more as we have a lot of space here so we could add in 1700 and then we can move this one around here now let's insert more more um, components so go to insert again load family and then let's add in some tables so just go back table we're gonna add in coffee table for sure and then dining table I'm gonna add in this dining table and then the coffee table so just hold on control and then click after that go to component and I'm gonna add in the table right here facing this way and then go back to architecture click component again and here we're gonna select the coffee table we're gonna place it right here in the middle and then here as well
after that, we're going to add in chairs. So go to insert again, load families, and just go back again and go to seating. And we're going to add this chair and then press open. Go back to architecture and then click on component. Press your space bar to change orientation. So for now, I'm going to add it like that. I'm going to select this and then click draw axis. I'm going to look for the midpoint of this table and then click press escape. And then I'm going to select this again. But I'm going to go for the end to end. So now everything is good. I will have um, our kitchen here and then the stairs right here. And then we're going to add a door right here. So I'm going to change the orientation for this. And this will be our powder room. So for now, let's go and insert the toilet. So go back and load. Go to the main. And then go to plumbing, architecture equipment sorry go back fixtures and then look for water closet and then the toilet press open so the error is i didn't escape the last one so that i couldn't load it so just press escape if you cannot load it and then click on this and then now you'll be able to load the file and then press component. I'm going to add it right here and then I'm going to load, I'm going to press escape again, insert, load family and let's load in the sink. I'm going to load this sink and then go back to architecture and component. Press escape once you uh, add that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to annotate, click detail line, and then click on rectangle. We're just going to create like a work surface here or the A rectangular showing the work surface so now this is good we could make this actually big so if you select this you can select different sizes so now this one's bigger so we could rotate this 90 you could type in 90 and then it will rotate to 90 degrees press escape this will be our formal living room and then here i could just mirror this like so so i'm just Fixing this using my arrow key. And then here, I will also fix this. And then I'm just selecting my arrow key as well. And then we could make this bigger as well by selecting it and making it bigger, like so.
So for now, let's stop here and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.